Hey guys, this is Chetan for Gizmo Times. You're watching the quick unboxing and hands-on with the Samsung Galaxy M01 that's just launched today for 9,000 rupees. 3 plus 32 GB is the option that you're getting. That's the only option in this particular smartphone. And this is uh, the blue color that we're getting. And uh, there are quite a few options here, but the one that was available at the store was uh, 3 plus 32 blue. And uh, the ROM and RAM are going to be the same. There's no different variants for this one. And it's just launched so right straight from the store that I got this one. And the MRP is 9,999, but uh, it's actually priced at 8,999. But is it really that good enough to even pay the price of 9,000 rupees? We'll check it out in that video, in the next video actually, but this is only the unboxing. I'll let you know about the specs and my early thoughts based on at least the specifications. I mean, uh, I I have read the specifications. I've asked for the specs uh, from the store itself. And frankly, based on what I'm been, I've been told, these are pretty minimal specs and for the price, they are actually not that good. So uh, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Let's first check out what all comes in the box package itself. So you have the quick start guide and the warranty card and the regional log guide, everything from a sealed box, but still uh, there are those bends and everything. Uh, so these are the uh, booklets that are getting inside the box package. Now, next you have the phone. So this is the blue variant and the only good thing that I already liked about it as I have checked the demo unit as well is that it has a matte finish. It's not a glossy back. So you have the matte finish that is going to not have a lot of fingerprints or smudges on its back. So pulling the sticker off now you can clearly see this is the matte finish of the blue variant that we have and there's a, a dual camera combination on the back of the device. We'll start the device and keep it aside while checking out the other accessories in the box package. So you don't have a screen guard here. It's not placed on the device uh, on the screen and you don't have anything in the box. So you'll have to buy it separately and uh, place it. Next you have the travel adapter that's going to be a 5 watt travel adapter. I mean Samsung uh, you're charging 9000 rupees and still you're offering a 5 watt uh, travel adapter. I don't even know whether the phone supports 10 watt. Now there's that doubt about uh, the support for 10 watt because 5 watt is what is given in the box package. You have the micro USB cable. You can't expect more than this from Samsung anyway. Because I mean, uh, one of the reasons that we could get from the brand is that they might say that the GST is high now. So the phone that was actually going to be priced about 8,000 or something, it is now 9,000. But still, you could have made the specs a bit better. At least the uh, accessories given inside should have been better. And you finally have the SIM ejector tool. So these are the accessories. I mean, nothing much. It's just the charger and the um, cable and you don't have any earphones here so that's it in the box package now let's go back to the device and uh, let me clean the screen it's already having a lot of uh, glue on it I'm not sure why so now while the setup is going on let's check out what all comes uh, as uh, the fa physical overview so you have a micro USB uh, port towards the bottom and the microphone towards the bottom as well and on the side you have the buttons uh, the power button on the right side with the sim ejector uh, section uh, or the sim slot area and you have the 3.5 mm headset jack on the top of the device on the left uh, is the volume rocker buttons let's also take out the sim card uh, access tray to show you what all comes in that as well so pulling this out you have uh, the dedicated micro sd card slot which is a good thing at least you have that support for the uh, expansion of the storage without a compromise for one of the sim cards now on the back you have the dual uh, camera combination with a 13 megapixel uh, primary camera and a uh, 2 megapixel depth camera you don't have a wide angle camera and you don't have any other sensors there's an led flash support given uh, towards the back and the speaker is located towards the back of the phone uh, with that little bump towards uh, 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 between the two uh, speaker out uh, grills so that's because at least with, the, with that bump when it's on a flat surface the sound can go out and it won't be muffled there so one thing uh, again to notice is that it doesn't have a, a fingerprint sensor and uh, that is something missing here which again, I would say from some of the brands with almost the same price, I mean, uh, from seven to 8,000 rupees, you see this uh, feature missing anyway, but for a phone that is priced at 9,000 rupees, you obviously would have expected a fingerprint sensor for the uh, additional security, but that's not given here. Now, this is the final part of the setup, I guess. Get recommended apps. Uh, so this is something newly introduced by most of the brands where they try to push in some of the apps uh, from their own side for the user to actually install smart tutor let's skip that and move to the next step now so this is about the samsung uh, account to be added we'll do all that later at least now let's go to the um, home screen and uh, check out everything that is given as a part of the device 
okay and done so now this is uh, the wallpaper that comes pre-installed and you have the 5 megapixel selfie camera uh, within that notch so it could be called the infinity u display uh, from samsung or the infinity v display based on the shape that is given there and uh, you have the regular one ui setup which is at least a good thing here i mean samsung uh, while can be easily criticized for everything else here for the chipset that is given for whatever the specs are at least with the software they are not going to give you something old now which was something that samsung used to do earlier they didn't really care about the os version and everything uh, earlier now you have that uh, setup done i mean you have the uh, android 10 based one ui that is going to be given here so it's android 10 one ui 2.0 so the latest uh, one ui version is going to be given here and it's android 10 the latest android os so that is given there now this is the 3 plus 32 gb option and that's the only option so let's go it into uh, the storage and check out what is coming as the default storage because uh, you have 32 gb as uh, something on the paper but 10 gb out of 32 gb is used up so you have about 22 gb available to the user and for the other features you obviously since this is the one ui there are quite a lot of advanced features such as side key smart pop-up view and screenshot uh, gestures reducing animations tone down motion effects on the screen uh, such as when apps are open or closed this will actually make the performance better nothing else motions and gestures these are a couple of motion and gesture features that are given in the interface panic mode and uh, you have dual messenger so you have a second account this is some something similar to the dual apps feature that is given in the other devices you have the device uh, care and uh, the software update i mean they won't be update any update right now under under the display do we have uh, the auto brightness you have adaptive brightness which you can turn on or off and adjust the screen brightness automatically based on the color current lightning settings uh, or the conditions there's also the dark mode which is a good thing you have the dark mode that is going to be a system wide dark mode given here and the screen out uh, timeout option navigation bar settings can be changed you have the full screen gestures based on android 10 so everything in under android 10 is going to be given here which is a good thing and for the apps that are given here you have the samsung applications such as voice recorder my files internet radio and then you have samsung members galaxy store all the google applications that they which come as a part of the android package you have samsung notes white youtube music game launcher and samsung global goals my galaxy and samsung shop you have a lot of samsung applications let's see if you can delete them or uninstall them you have the option of uninstalling samsung goals at least now if you go into the camera application you have uh, the photo live focus live focus is because of that depth camera given there now if you go into the photos and if you go into settings you have the option of a rare video with the full hd resolution and a front video with the full hd resolution here so you have the option of uh, full hd videos you don't um, get the option of 4k videos which is okay i mean you can understand that uh, you can't capture 4k video videos with this kind of a uh, camera and you have 3 to 4 9 to 16 those uh, options for the resolution or the aspect ratio there's a pro mode which would help you change the iso mode and uh, you can uh, change the uh, white balance and also the exposure values and there's a panorama mode as well so there's no wide angle camera so you at least get the panorama mode here so this was uh, the samsung uh, galaxy m01 that's priced at 9000 rupees and before we end this comes with the qualcomm snapdragon 439 processor with the adreno 505 gpu not a strong chipset at all so stay tuned for the gaming review of this smartphone that would go live pretty soon and uh, i mean uh, before we even do that i can tell you that it's not going to be a good uh, device for gaming but still we'll be doing that very soon and uh, you'll have to stay tuned for that that's it in this video for now this was the blue variant of the samsung galaxy m01 i hope you like this video if you do do share and subscribe to give some time for more thanks for watching and see you in the next video